Hello everyone. Uh, it's good to see you all. Well, I guess I can't really see you all. But anyway, welcome back uh, to another lesson, to our final lesson, okay? Um, and so first, uh, well, let me say a couple of things. Um, I will be uh, giving you feedback on my email to all of you um, when I send the videos, okay? And I will give you feedback um, and send you all the videos. Everyone did a great job. Did really good on your videos. And I just, sometimes as I was watching, I was smiling. So kudos to you all, to all of you that have sent them to me uh, so far, okay? So we're going to start with a review of our numbers, okay? And remember, you're always, always, always going to be signing numbers, okay? Every day. Uh, let me just... Okay, I always forget to put my sound off sometimes, a lot of times. Um, but you're going to be using using numbers every day um, when you wake up um, or when you go to bed bed at night time you set your 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 clock right um, for seven o'clock five o'clock so that's a number right there when you wake up in the morning wake up at five o'clock oh gotta go to work need to arrive at ten o'clock uh, someone you meet. Oh, hi, how are you? Um, do you have any kids? Yeah, I do. How old are they? Okay, I have two boys and their ages are 10 and 15. So you're always going to be using numbers. You go into the elevator. Um, could you push number 14 for me? 14. Always. You go to the store. There's a 50% sale on clothing or on dresses or what, what have you, okay? So really try to practice, practice, practice your numbers. And remember, you can practice your numbers anytime, anywhere, okay? Um, only time you can't practice maybe numbers is maybe you've gone. <laughs> well, I won't, I won't even use that example. But for the most part, you can practice your numbers anywhere anytime okay so first let's do a review of 1 through 30 okay and I want you to sign with me okay so just copy me 1 2 3 4 5 remember 1 through 5 they can be done with my palm facing out or my palm facing me. It's kind of divided. Some some people might say, no, you must do this way. Some say, no, you can do either. You can do either way, okay? Um, and it's never been where it has stopped communication for me at all, at all, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. And from six to nine, you do want to do your palm out. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. And do that a couple of times. Now, from 11 through 15, your palm is going to facing your body. The palm orientation is facing you. One, two, I'm sorry, excuse me, 11. So your thumb is going to be on top of your index. 11. 12, 13, so let me go back, 11, do it a couple times, and each time you bring your finger back down, you want your thumb to go right on top of it, and then 12, your thumb is on both of those, 12, now, 13, 14, 15, now, 16 through 19, I'm going to show you three ways, okay? And I 
I love I always teach all three ways because you're going to see them I mean you're going to see them in the deaf com uh, community as you interact with deaf people you'll see them do it one of these three ways and maybe even a fourth way okay so the first way I want to do 16 17 18 19 okay now second way and whenever you notice that I'm using my left hand so here's my right hand this is my dominant hand if you're left-handed it's going to be the opposite but there will be times where there's a right-handed person that says you know what I'm just more comfortable using my left hand that's perfectly fine just be consistent so you don't want us to be signing here then over here then over here then over here because it kind of looks like a tennis match all right so you just want to be consistent but when I'm getting ready to talk about like say for example if I said I have children three okay now I will use my left hand because my right hand now is going to be the one that's going to be doing the actions my, the action excuse me so I will say first this is my oldest son and his name is blah 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 then I'm going to say this is my my middle son his name is and then my daughter okay and I would say um, he is married and has a beautiful wife and I can talk about he has two children and and this is each time you're pointing the deaf person will remember who they are okay this is my daughter she has two boys and that's how you would do that okay so um, let's go back so back to uh, 16 17 18 19 now I was getting ready to show you the second way okay so remember your left hand is going to be like this and your dominant hand will now use at the point so that way you can keep this steady okay and keep it up and keep referring back to it with your right hand or the opposite way if you're left-handed okay so the second way to do 16 through 19 16 17 18 19 and notice the thumb is not moving only the finger is moving 16 17 18 19 if it hurts don't do it okay if it hurts don't do it third way remember 10 and you remember the number six one time that's 16 so 10 and 6 that's 16 17 18 19 good job good job are you still with me okay so now we're going to do the 20s all right the 20s are different from any other group all right and i know we went over this in class but again it doesn't hurt to do a review okay 20. once you know 1 through 29 you'll know 1 through 99. so 20. But let me show you the sign for no you see the difference my thumb and index finger is 20, and this is N-O, no. 20, 21, 22, 23, or 23. Now, after you've done 22 this way, after that, this is going to be basically your two. And I read recently that the origin of this was from French Sign Language because American Sign Language originated from French Sign Language. So in France, when they count, um, you, you know, us here in America, the hearing people, we go one, two, three, four, five, right? Well, in, in France, um, and I, I'm assuming it's still done, it may or may not be, but sometimes you've seen people count, they'll count like this from France, one, two, three, four, five. So they that's where I read recently that's where that originated from so after you do 22 with the two 22 after that it'll be 23 and there's going to be two ways for 23 and 25 23 23 then there's 24 and then 25 is 25 or 25 that middle finger okay then after that is 26 27 28 
29 and then 30 three zero those are the numbers okay so if you copy those practice them practice them get them down you'll know one through 99 now there's a group of numbers as we talked about and I sent, uh, sent you all information on um, so I learned it as um, twist down um, step down excuse me step down or twist okay some may call it rocking numbers okay whatever you call this group of numbers is going to be a little bit different from the rest of the numbers okay um, let's just throw out a few numbers before I show you those numbers that are step down or the twist numbers or the rocking numbers whichever term you want to use okay so 35 is just 35 3 and 5 48 48 62 62 uh, 51 51 95 95 6 uh, 72 72 okay so pretty simple those 20s are the ones that you really need to work on memorizing though okay and with practicing that will happen now the rocking numbers so first the first one starts at 67 so see the six the palm is facing up 67 68 69 so you see the twisting of my wrist okay so some may call it the twist some may call it rocking because it looks like it's rocking back and forth okay 67 68 69 then you're going to do at the uh, 70 78 79 the lower number is down with the palm up then you increase to the higher number 78 79 and then the last one is 89 okay let's do those again 67 68 69 78 79 and then the last one 89 okay now we're going to do the opposite way step down okay and we're going to start with 76 so 76 or you can do that as a rocking motion or twist 76 either way 76 step down or twist either way you want to show the differentiation in those numbers okay and I'll explain a little more after we get through them okay so 76 then 86 87 96 97 98 okay let's do it one more time but let's do it the step down way this time okay 76 then 86 87 then there's 96 97 98 okay now why is that so important uh, for those in the deaf community um, let me not say the why but just emphasize that these are important for deaf people okay um, I had gone to an ASL camp one year many about 13 years ago or so um, and at night or during the day we would go to classes, ASL classes, and finish. At nighttime, we would go and do two hours of games and just having fun and just a variety of things, okay? And so one of the games, there were four deaf professionals, and they told us, they said, we want you all to line up depending, uh, depending on or according to your social security numbers the last four rather the last four that would be kind of hard to do all of our digits of our social security numbers but the last four of our social security numbers so the last four of mine is nine six seven eight okay so I, you, you know we were all getting in line what's your what's yours what's your what's your last four what's your last four oh, okay i need to move over here and we got in line right and so now Remember I told you there were four deaf professionals. I think two or three were college um, professors and one was a teacher at, um, at a college, okay? So they're going down the line 
let me see, let me see. Then they get to me. And so they ask me, what are your last four? So, okay, I did it, fine. Nine, six, seven, eight. They looked at each other. Then they told me to do it again. I'm like, okay, nine, six, seven, eight. And they were still puzzled. And I'm thinking, it's easy, right? Nine, a six, a seven, and an eight. And so um, what they taught me that day, which I've never forgotten, is that they wanted to see what? 96, okay? Remember the twist? 96, 7, 8. That's what they wanted to see. And so that's why it's important. It, it brings clarity, I believe, um, for the deaf community. Okay, so try to, try to work on and practice that group of numbers. And this is on a tape so you can rewind it again and again and again and practice. You can be out shopping. You can be out um, at a meeting and you can practice your numbers, okay? Now, so we finished with one all the way up to 99. Now, it's gonna get good, right? Let's do the hundreds. So first, one, excuse me, 100, the C. Remember the Roman numerals, C? is 100, right? So you're going to do 100 or 100. 100. 200 or 200. 300. 400 or, or 400. 500 or 500. Then after that, 600 through 900, you want to do 600, 700, 800, 900. Okay, let's do those again. 100 or 100. 200 or 200. 300 or 300. 400 or 400. 500 or 500. Excuse me, 500 or 500. 600, 700, 800, 900. Okay. Now, um, before I go any further, there's a couple of warm-up exercises I want to do, and I want to show you so that if you're going to be spelling a lot, if you're going to be doing numbers, um, whatever it is, okay, um, you want to be able to do your warm-ups, okay? And let's start with the shoulder shrug. And while I'm doing that, I want to do a number. Eight. Well, no, not, no, I don't. Let me keep doing the shoulder shrug, okay? Okay, so you want to do that a few times, okay? Then there's um, the Frank. This is the Frankenstein. Let's put your arms out. Okay, okay, then there's this one, whatever this is called. When I was in college, my teacher uh, would have us do these probably almost every day in class. Or, or, no, I take that back. It probably was more so when we were going to be doing a lot of finger spelling. Okay. Uh, just write down something. Okay, so now you want to also do, where well, you got your arms out, okay, then another one, going to bend the back, oh, ooh, I can feel that, can't you feel it right down here? Then you want to do your left hand. Let's do that again.
great job. Let's take it out. Now, there's one more that I do that I'm not going to do it now, but put your hand on a flat table and one by one, each digit, you want to lift it. So you would do your baby finger, your ring finger, one by one, and just go down the line, okay? And maybe do that twice, all right? Now we're ready to proceed. So now we're going to do some numbers that are in, um, that are just kind of a drill for you to practice learning your numbers. I really want the numbers to get so smooth for you guys, okay? So let's start with number 527, okay? 527, okay? Do that again. 527. 849. 849. 849. 383. Excuse me. 383. I'm going to do that one again. 383. Um, 848. 848. And then the last one, 627. Okay, now I'm going to give you five that I want you to write down. This is the sign for writing down. Okay, I want you to write down these five numbers for you to practice. Okay, 283, 283, 851, 851, 160. 160, 515, and 493, okay? Now, one thing I didn't cover. So, for example, if the number is 704, you can just go 704. That's it. You don't have to do 704. You can just do 704. 704, okay? So, those are five that... I want you just to practice with if you get stuck you know where you can find me right and just send me an email or, or type it in the comments below okay so now we're going to work on the thousands we finished the hundreds now let's work on the thousand so thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand six thousand 7,000, and so on, okay? That's the 1,000, okay? So now let's do some numbers with that in mind. First number we want to do is 8,322. So 8,322. Remember 22, those, num those 20s? 8,322. 9,411. Again, 9,411. 9,411. Let's do that again. 9,411. Good job. 1,633. 1,633. And often you'll see those double digits that are the same, just like this. So we know 22, so 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. You'll see them with the palm facing down to the floor, okay? 3,611, 3,611. Let's do that again. 3,611. 11. And then the last one, 5,099. 5,099. Again, 5,099. All right, so I'm going to give you five numbers for you to practice with, okay? First number, 4,522. 4,522. The next number, 3,766. Again, 
3,766. Third number, 7,518. One more time, 7,518. Next number, 8,015. That's 8015, okay? So challenge yourself on that one, right? 8015. And the last one, 5,917, okay? So we're going to do some additional thousands. Ready? 20,315. 20,315. One more time. 20,315. 63,336. 63,000. 336 63,336 Good job 25,173 25,173 Okay, let's do that again Thirty six thousand two hundred and eighty four. Thirty six thousand two hundred and eighty four. Okay, and the last one, and this is the sign for last. The last one, the two baby fingers. Last one. And I digress for a minute. Um, if you're introducing yourself and you say, hello, my name is Val. My last, the two baby fingers, my last name, and then you would spell out your last name, okay? 12,840. 12 okay, let's do that again. 12,840. Now, I'm going to give you five to practice with. So here we go. Uh, 90,864. 90,864. 81,739. 81,739. 44,000. 208 44,208 70,628 70,628 and the last one 44,714 okay good job now, those were tens of thousands. Now, we're going to do hundreds of thousands, okay? So, the numbers are increasing, right? They're getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger. 137,508. 137,508. Okay, you saw that? 137,508. Good job. 572,942. 572,942. Eight hundred ninety six thousand nine hundred eighty four. Saw that? That was that twisting motion, right? Oh, I did that wrong. Okay, let's do that again. Eight hundred ninety six thousand nine hundred 
84. Okay, let's do that again. 896,984. 335,328. Again, okay, then the last one, 359,720, again, 359,720. As you might have guessed by now, this is the sign for again, okay? And you can use this for, hey, could you repeat that? Say it again, okay? Now, I'm going to give you five numbers um, to practice with. Again, these are the hundreds of thousands. So here are your five numbers. 515,174. 515,174. Next number, 282,247. Again, 282,247. Next one, 668,369. One more time. 668,369. Next, 175,631. 175,631. Then the last number, 965,391. Again. 965,391. Okay? Good job. Good job. Are you still with me? You still with me? Good job. So those are the hundreds of thousands. Now we're going to get into what? The millions. All right? Here we go. One million. Now first let me show you the sign for million. So this was thousands, right? So millions is what? What do you think? Yep. You got it. Two times. But not in the same spot. You want to do it here, and then you're going to move forward. All right? We're going to do billions shortly, and that's going to be one, two, three. All right? That'll be billions. But let's go back to the millions. So we're going to do 1,641,420. Okay, here we go. Okay, notice I did them twice, uh, different at the end, 400. I did, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> I did 23 the first time and the second time this, okay? Next number, 3,359,500. Excuse me, let me get a little water, excuse me. Three million fifty nine thousand. Let's do that again. 3,359,569. So here we go. And there's the twist. There's that twist. Okay? So let's do it again. 3,359,569. 3, Five hundred sixty-nine, eight million three hundred thousand eight hundred seventy-five, okay, uh, the last one we'll do is eight million, oh, we'll do two more, excuse me, five million nine hundred forty-four thousand four hundred six.
Let's do it again. <clears throat> okay, the last one. 8,378,431. Here we go. And let me say the number again. 8,378,431. Okay, there's that twisting. Okay, again, 8,378,431. Okay, now I'm gonna give you some numbers and I'm gonna, they're gonna be some that are gonna be in the tens of millions and some that are going to be in the, um, just in the first place. The, yeah, tens of millions and then just regular millions, okay? So here we go. These are for you to practice later. 4,092,138. Next number, 9,962,500. Again, 9 million nine hundred sixty two thousand five hundred twenty seven now we're gonna I'm gonna give you three of them in the tens of millions okay sixty five million and, and I'll sign this first one sixty five million three hundred twenty four thousand four hundred sixty seven sixty five million three hundred twenty four thousand four hundred sixty seven here we go sixty five million three hundred twenty four thousand four hundred sixty seven okay let's do it again sixty five million three hundred twenty four thousand four excuse me four hundred sixty seven and we'll do one more then I'm going to give you three that you can practice okay ten million four hundred thirty nine thousand eight hundred ninety five Ten million four hundred and thirty nine thousand eight hundred ninety five. Here we go. Let's do it again. Okay, so I'm going to give you three numbers. Ready? Ninety million. Four hundred fifty four thousand nine hundred and seventy five ninety million four hundred and fifty four thousand nine hundred and seventy five next number forty two million seven hundred eighty three thousand two hundred seventy seven again forty two million seven hundred eighty three thousand two hundred seventy seven and then the last number Fifty four million three hundred and three thousand eight hundred and fifty five. Again, fifty four million three hundred and three thousand eight hundred and fifty five. Okay, now we're getting into the billions. <clears throat> Excuse me, the billions. Okay, and that sign boom, boom, boom. Okay, one, two, three, or Okay, that's the left hand again, and you use this to, to show even or. So if I said, for example, um, the sign for, um, let's say, sister, okay? But you may also see it, or it can be, okay, some of the older signs, or maybe it might be a regional sign. But I've seen people go girl like this. Okay, this is a sign for girl. And then come down. Okay? So you can use this to show or. Alright? Or you can spell out or also. So back to the billions. 136 billion. 46 million. 935,000. 
$1,836,815,815. Okay, let me say that again. $136,046,935,815. Okay, let's sign that one. Okay, let's do that one again. Good, good. Did you keep up with it? Okay, the next one is nine billion two hundred seventy three million three hundred sixty one thousand seven hundred and sixty nine. Okay, and remember to watch out. For those twist down, excuse me, step down or twist numbers, um, or like I said, some people may call it the Rocky numbers. Just make sure you watch out for those. All right. Nine million, excuse me, nine billion two hundred seventy-three million three hundred sixty-one thousand seven hundred. Here we go. Sixty-nine. Okay. Let's do that again. Nine billion two hundred seventy three million three hundred sixty one thousand seven hundred sixty nine. Now I'm going to give you um, three to sign. All right, first number four million six hundred twenty four thousand seven hundred. Oh, excuse me, four billion. Six hundred twenty-four million seven hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and fifty-nine. Let's say it again. Four billion six hundred twenty-four million seven hundred and twelve thousand two hundred and fifty-nine. Next number: forty-eight billion two hundred forty-eight million. One hundred eighty-one. Thousand six hundred and twenty six. Okay, again, forty eight billion two hundred and forty seven million one hundred and eighty one thousand six hundred and twenty six. And then the last number I'm going to give you two hundred and fifty eight billion two hundred eighty one <clears throat> million, excuse me. Six hundred and twenty-nine thousand eight hundred and three. Let me say it again: two hundred fifty-eight billion two hundred eighty-one million six hundred twenty-nine thousand eight hundred and three. Okay. Now, just continue to practice. Continue to practice. If you can, try to practice every day, maybe, even if you can only do five minutes. You say, Val, and this is my sign name, by the way. The V's, touch here, and then just make a heart, okay? And this is my sign name, uh, a deaf man. He gave me this sign name many, many years ago. Um, why my birthday is on Valentine's Day, okay? And so those are the V's over the heart. That's my sign name. And usually someone from the deaf community will give you uh, a sign name. Now, if you have maybe a short name, let's say Pat, Pat then most likely um, they'll spell it out. But usually they'll give it to you, but it has to be from a deaf person, not a hearing person. That's a big, big, big no-no, okay? Make sure that it's a deaf person that's giving you. And usually they have to kind of get to know you before giving you a sign name, all right? And I look at it like, almost like a term, uh, 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 what's it? term of endearment, you know, uh, something that's special, unique to you also. Okay, now, I want to talk about telling time. As you can see, this this first hour is about numbers, okay? 
um, at least a portion of it, a good portion of it. Uh, we may do a little bit right at the end of this first hour. Okay, so telling time. So you wake up in the morning, maybe you wake up at seven o'clock, okay? So here's your wrist, seven o'clock, six o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Now, let's say you wake up at 6.45, then you would do it a little bit different. Time, 6.45. Time, 8.45. So you, now, how do you differentiate if it's in the morning or if it's in the evening? Time, morning, 7.45. Time, evening, um, 8, 8.45, okay? Um, time, noon, 2.35, okay? And that's how you would do times, or I'm sorry, the, the time, afternoon, 2.35, okay? Um, that's basically how you would do the time. Again, if you're talking about morning, afternoon, or at night, Time and then whatever time it is, uh, seven. If it's say time night, seven thirty. Okay. If it's any, if it's just one, two, any of them that are right on the hour, if it's on the hour, then you can do it right from your your wrist. So one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, up to I would say nine o'clock. Then after that, you would go time, ten o'clock time if it's on the o'clock 11 o'clock time 12. now this just like this is noon okay hey let's go to lunch what time uh, go to noon okay they've already asked you what time we're going so you don't have to say time noon because you've already asked they've asked you what time do you want to go to lunch so you know that you're already talking about the time okay so hopefully that's clear. And But again, if you have questions, just type them below in the comments, okay? Now, let's do a few more. Um, we're going to talk about when something is done. Let's say it's some, you did something all morning or you did something all afternoon. You, did, you do something every day. Like every day we do what? Well, hopefully... <laughs> We brush our teeth, okay? Probably twice a day, right? Brush our teeth. So how do you sign that, okay? So first of all, let's think about the sign for morning. Here's the sign for morning. Sun is coming up, morning, okay? Now, if something is done all morning, okay, you notice that? Now, how did you see my expression? What was on my face? This right here. And it's called actually a mouth morphing. All right. Now, a mouth morphing is a way that your mouth should be shaped to convey different meanings and grammatical aspects of ASL. Mouth morphings are mouth movements, not mild words. So I'm not mouthing. I'm not mouthing that. But this is a mouth mor morphing. Okay to convey the meaning. Usually, if you think about something, if you're doing it all morning, a lot of times it's not something that may be fun, right? Um, so if you said, if, if you said, <sighs> okay, all morning, I clean my house okay so remember this goes along with the sign it's connected to the sign you can't just go no got to add this now if something is every morning like I talked about how we brush our teeth every morning This doesn't have a mouth morphine. I probably smile a lot myself. Um, so it doesn't have that mouth, that same mouth morphine. It's just every morning, okay? 
Now, afternoon, okay, which you all learned some time ago, right? Good afternoon. Good or good morning. So now all afternoon, all right? So all morning is this. Now all afternoon, okay? Let's do that again, all afternoon. It's like the sun is starting to go down, right? Every afternoon. Think of it this way. When you look at your calendar, Sunday starts on the left, right? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So every afternoon, every morning, okay? So if you can't remember, wait, did she say start left, start right? Just think about the calendar. And it's right, it starts at left and goes right. So every afternoon. Now, night, sun is down. Something happens all night. And the head's kind of tilted. Think about, no, I'm sorry. First I would say, what did I say? Right, all night the baby cried. How many of you are mothers and remember when your babies, when your, when your children were babies and having to wake up at two or three in the morning, right? So, okay, now every night, which way are we going to start? From the right to the left or from the left to the right? Yes, you got it right. So every night, every night. Now, day versus all day. Day, and you can do this for one day, two days, three days. Or what have you, okay? So day by yourself, the index finger, day. Now, if something is happening all day, okay, got that mouth open again, the tilt, that's the mouth morphing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Okay. Um, all. Every day. Every day. Every day every day okay let's go back again day all day every day okay now some of you might be confused with let's say girl okay I want to show you the differences between girl every day and tomorrow all right so girl here every day going forward think of going into the future, or well, I shouldn't say going into the future, that would be future, but just going forward every day. And then tomorrow, tomorrow, that's going forward into the future. Okay, so girl, every day, tomorrow. All right, and then we're going to show, let's do week, week. So this week, oh, maybe this week you've been busy, 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 busy. Okay, week. Just straight up, and it's talking about this current week. Week. Now, if we're talking about last week, something that happened in the past, then you're gonna go back. Last week. This week. Last week. Now, next week. Which way do you think you'll go? Exactly. Next week. Next week. Or. Next week. Next week. Okay? To so, know, let's do a little review. All right? All morning. Let me see you do it. All morning. I'll wait. Good. Good job. All afternoon. Your turn. And this is a sign for your turn. So back to me, then your turn. Back to me, your turn. And this is think of I guess you can think of a gun. I hate to say it, say it like that, but that's what I think of, alright? Taking turns, alright? So your turn. All afternoon.
Good. Here we go. Good job. Because the sun is now what? Starting to go down. First it's all morning. The sun is rising. Now the sun is going down. Now, all night. The sun is down. All night. All night. Every morning. Which way? Right to left. Left to right. Yep, you got it. Think of that calendar again. Sunday through Saturday. And it's left to right. Okay. Um, every morning. Every morning. Okay. So you notice I'm moving like this. My left arm is stationary. But you may also see it this way. Okay. Um, every afternoon, every afternoon, like you're going through all the days of the week, every afternoon you do something. Every night, good. Now, okay, so if you have any questions, let me know, write them down, write them down, send them to me in an email. And my my email it'll be in the description below okay um, so now when we talk about something happening every Sunday every Monday every Friday how do we do that so first let's sign those days of the week okay and I know again this is a lot of review for for you all but again, it doesn't hurt to review. So first, we're going to just do the days of the week, and then I'll show you how to sign every, something happening every Sunday, every Monday, etc. So first, Sunday. Now, I'm from Michigan, and when I would do Sunday in Michigan, Sunday. But you also see Sunday this way. I'm here in Georgia now, and I think the tendency is more towards Sunday, this way. Okay? So Sunday... Okay, you got that? Start high, bring it down low, or circle, like you're washing the car. <laughs> what was it, washing one, wash off, karate kid or something? Okay, um, Monday, make an M. You can either do it out or this way, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Wednesday. If you turn it with the palm facing your body, it's going to go counterclockwise. If you turn it out this way, it's going to be clockwise, okay? Or you might be, you know, I don't do it this way normally, so don't quote me on, on which way it is with the palm facing out. But palm facing in is counterclockwise, okay? Wednesday. Thursday is TH or Thursday or Thursday, okay? Friday. Saturday, that's the S, Saturday, okay? Now, every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, etc., you're just going to go straight down every Sunday, every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. Thursday is going to be different. You start with the T every Thursday, T-H, every Thursday. Friday, every Saturday, okay, one more time, every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday, every Friday, and every Saturday, okay, this is all for now, um, until the next video, stay tuned, bye-bye.